क्वेश्चन इज गिवेन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ अंडर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन सिक्सटी टू सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस टर्म हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस टर्म लेट्स सी सोल्यूशन Here some terms is given like square root of twenty four, square root of two hundred sixteen, and square root of one sixty two. So first we have to uh, simplify this term. So square root of twenty four. So we are taking first factor of twenty four. So two one ja two, two two ja four, two six ja twelve, two three ja two, and three one ja three. So factor of twenty four. Twenty four is equal to we can say two times two times two times three. This is factor of twenty four. Now two hundred sixteen. So we are taking second term that is two hundred sixteen. So two one ja two, two eight ja sixteen, two five ja ten, two four ja eight, two two ja four, two seven ja fourteen, and here three nine ja twenty seven three, three three ja nine three one ja three. So here we can say uh, factor of two hundred sixteen is equal to uh, we can write two times two times two times three times three times three right so three times three times three now next one is one sixty two so next one is one sixty two one sixty two two eight ja sixteen two one ja two right and uh, here uh, we can say three Three two ja six three seven ja twenty one three nine ja twenty seven three three sa nine three one ja three so two times three times three times three times so we can say here one sixty two factor of one sixty two is equal to two times three times three times three times three right now we have to substitute this value here then we will get so let's start. Square root of twenty four, that is square root of twenty four. We can write two times two times two times three divided by square root of two hundred sixteen. So a square root of two hundred sixteen is two times two times two, two times two times two times three times three times three, and plus next one is one hundred sixty two. So one hundred sixty two. Is two times three times three times three times three, right? Now is equal to. We can write this square root. Now two two is a four, right? So two two is a four. When we are writing this two two is a four, so uh, square root of four is two. So we can take outside this four in form of two in term of two. So two. And next term is that is square root of two, square root of three. Left term it will left here. So square root of two, square root of three divided by. Now in uh, denominator two two is a four, so we can take this uh, two outside. So two times here you can say two two is a four that is two, and here three three is a nine. Square root of nine that is three. So two times three we can take outside. Two times three, and left term is square root of two times square root of three plus. Now here we can say we can take here three three is a nine and three three is a nine. So nine nine is at eighty one. Eighty one square root of eighty one is nine. So we can take outside nine. So we can take outside here nine and left term is two. So square root of two you can say here. So in this way we can write this term: two square root of two times square root of three divided by two times three square root of two times square root of three plus nine square root of two. Right? Now uh, we can take here common square root of two square root of two both sides. So we can write this square root of two times. Two square root of three. Two square root of three in numerator and in denominator, we can take here square root of three to just six. So six square root of two. Uh, six square root of two times square root of three plus nine square root of two. 
now you can say square root of t, 2 here also and uh, square root of 2 is square root of 2 so we can take a square root of 2 common so when we are taking this term common square root of 2 times 2 square root of 3 and here divided by we are taking again here a square root of 2 common so we can write this uh, 2 square root of 3 so square root of 2 we are taking common so left hand that is 6 square root of 3 6 square root of 3 plus 9 right now square root of 2 square root of 2 it will become cancel from here so left term that is square root 2 square root of 3 divided by 6 square root of 3 plus 9 right now so here uh, 2 square root of 3 divided by 6 square root of 3 plus 9 now we have to rationalize this denominator so we can multiply in numerator and denominator by 6 square root of 3 minus 9 so you can write here multiply in denominator and numerator by 6 square root of 3 minus 9 then we will get 2 square root of 3 times 6 square root of 3 minus 9 divided by 6 square root of 3 plus 9 and 6 square root of 3 minus 9 now is equal to we can write this 2 square root of 3 multiply with 6 square root of 3 so we can simplify this or we can multiply this one by one so 2 square root of 3 2 square root of 3 times 6 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3 times 9 right so 2 square root of 3 times 9 divided by 6 square root of 3 plus 9 6 square root of 3 minus 9 so this is a plus b and a minus b so we can uh, we can apply here uh, a square minus b square formula so a is 6 square root of 3 plus 9 so 6 square root of 3 this is a square minus b b is term 9 so minus 9 square is equal to now we can write this 6 to the 12 right so 12 and here 3 3 is a 9 so we can write this 9 square root of 9 minus 9 to the 18 square root of 3 divided by now 6 6 6 is a 36 times uh, square root and square is cancel so it will become 3 minus 9 square that is 81 is equal to 12 square root of 9 so square root of 9 value of square root of 9 is 3 right so we can write this 12 times 3 minus 18 square root of 3 divided by now 36 3 is 3 6 is 18 and 3 3 is 9 9 plus 1 10 108 minus 81 is equal to now 12 3 is 36 minus 18 square root of 3 divided by 108 minus 81 when we are uh, subtracting 81 from 108 we will get here 26 27 sorry 27 is equal to now 36 minus 18 square root of 3 so we can take common here 9 9 4 is 36 9 2 is 18 and 9 3 is 27 so we can take in numerator and denominator common that is 9 so we are taking common here 9 9 4 is 36 9 2 is 18 square root of 3 divided by 9 3 is 27 right so this 9 is cancelled from this 9 now left term that is we got here 4 minus 2 square root of 3 divided by 3 so we can write this square root we are separating them here square root of 4 minus 2 square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 we are separating numerator and denominator so here is equal to now this is 4 so this 4 we can write 3 plus 1 so we are writing this square root 4 is 3 plus 1 minus 2 square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 now is equal to 
we can write this 3 this 3 uh, in uh, square form we can write square root of 3 so square root of 3 whole square that is 3 plus 1 square minus 2 square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 now here you can see if we are considering this a is equal to square root of 3 a is equal to square root of 3 and b is equal to 1 then this is the form of a plus uh, a minus b whole square right a square plus b square minus 2 a b so we can write this is equal to square root of 3 uh, you can write this as square root of 3 minus 1 whole square right square root of 3 minus 1 whole square divided by square root of 3 now so uh, this is in upside so square root of 3 now here square uh, square is cancelled from a square root so it will become uh, this way so square root of 3 left term that is square root of 3 minus 1 divided by square root of 3 right now we have to uh, rationalize this denominator so we can multiply uh, and uh, we can divide and multiply with square root of 3 so we will get here uh, square root of 3 so is equal to first we are separating terms so square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 minus 1 right minus 1 divided by square root of 3 so square root of 3 square root of 3 it will become cancelled so we will get here 1 minus 1 upon square root of 3 right now we can rationalize this uh, denominator so we can multiply both sides by square root of 3 so we will get here is equal to 1 minus square root of 3 times 1 that is square root of 3 uh, divided by square root of 3 square root of 3 whole square. So square is cancelled from square root. So left term that is we will get here 1 minus square root of 3 divided by 3. So this is the value we can say. Uh, so answer is first we are writing question here. So square root of 24 divided by square root of 216 plus square root of 162 is equal to 1 minus square root of 3 divided by 3 this is the final solution thank you